Obama and Hillary right now are in this dogfight for the Democratic nomination. Mathematically, it's going to be very difficult for Hillary to, to overtake Obama. So the Republicans all along for the last month or so, even longer than that, have been working under the assumption that Obama's going to be the Democratic nominee. They're getting ready for it. They're um, already running ads in congressional districts with Obama's picture um, in those ads to link the, con the Democratic congressional candidate to Obama by saying, you know, he's too liberal. So they obviously see Obama as a liability. What they also see in the last six weeks is that maybe Obama can't stand the heat. Maybe he's just not ready for prime time. And it's something that the Republicans are focusing on and, and sitting back and watching with a certain amount of glee, because this is not exactly the best year for Republicans by any measure. We're in a recession, depending on who you ask, or we're on the brink of a recession. This war continues to drag on. Nothing is going right for the Republicans. So if they can get a candidate like Obama to come out of the Democratic primary, he not only is damaged, and bruised and battered, but he's also got some amount of baggage now. Hillary's got her baggage too. So there's there's a lot that they have to weigh when they're looking at this. Right now, I think they're, they're just happy not to have an opponent right now. The fact that the Democrats keep beating each other up and this is dragging out, they believe gives John McCain an opening to define himself on his terms and, and to start this race the way that he wants to start it without an opponent. They think that John McCain um, is different not not your typical Republican, that he that he's not exactly like Bush and that they can package him that way to make him seem um, seem something different than the status quo.